significant change, personal developments, powerful revelations. Welcome to the week of the eighth. <laughs> it's an all signs reading, guys, and we're going to look into the energy this week. So if the video found you, there's probably a message here for you. We are kicking off with the new moon solar eclipse. I'm sure you were very well aware of it. Are you guys in the path of totality? Are you going to be able to witness it? Let me know. Um, it's like what, from like Texas to Maine or something like this, right? Um, across the U.S. anyway. Let me know my foreigners, my foreigner friends. Will you be able to see it? Um, are you feeling drawn? Are you feeling drawn to do anything for it? Is my question because I have to be honest, I'm not in the path of totality, but I would have a pretty decent view, but like, I don't know. I just, maybe it's my strong Aries placement, you know, cause it's happening in the sign of Aries, the new moon. I'm just kind of like, Ooh, I don't really want to F around with this energy too much. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I think it's neat for sure. So I'm excited to hear what you guys think about this. Um, Axe just popped out. So we'll look at that in a moment. But yeah, it is giving like shake up your foundation. And hello, did you hear about the earthquake in New York City and the tri-state area? 4.848K. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. We're shaking up ground here. Yes. Yes, we are. Um, this is a good thing. Okay. It's interesting because I've been getting the download. Oh, you can go back. How many times have I said it? Whether it's on here or TikTok or whatever. Um, recalibrating. Okay. Like we need to balance our scales and that's what it's giving. So since we've been working on our foundation and we've been making little edits and we've been, you know, pouring, you know, new foundation here and here, it's like the ground had to shift. You know, I'm talking uh, metaphorically, spiritually, of course, but um, apparently Mother Nature knows something that we don't, you know, so it's all really connected. Um, and like Aries is also, you know, the first sign of the Zodiac, right? So like it's um, it's a very all about me, like new moon, like personal identity, like who I, am I? It is your foundation, you know? So um, especially if you felt recently like uh, either people were against you, negative, and I just looked up and saw 222, okay, um, even just, like, feeling like there's a fucking, like, cloud above your head, you know what I mean, it's one thing after another, you felt an autopilot, survival, mo survival mode, um, spirit acknowledges this, and I feel like this is what's shifting out of your life, okay, mule, yeah, somebody's extremely stubborn here and unwilling to change, so anything that is too fixed, cannot flow, cannot transform, okay? So it's like we're breaking it down. We're breaking down old habits, um, conditioning, things like this. It makes sense for our new beginning, what's in our foundation, right? It's so interesting too, because I was just talking to somebody, you know, I'm a fixed water sign, right? I'm a Scorpio. And um, that can be the hardest thing sometimes for me. It's like, I love being a Scorpio. I'm proud of it. Anyone that is probably knows what I'm talking about. We're very proud to be Scorpios, but it, it's, it's rough being fixed water because what is fixed water? What is water that doesn't move? It's ice, you know? So it's interesting just like thinking about the forms that we can take when we don't uh, realize that there's no movement, there's no flow in our routine, in our energy. Okay. So yeah. That might have something to do with it, but it feels like we're breaking down anything that's hard, anything that feels like it's going against the current, okay? We're pulling up in this Two of Cups energy this week. Hello. With the star, I see it. Aquarius energy here. This is giving divine love, divine destiny, whether this is a union that you are currently involved in or this is something you're trying to manifest. You may feel like forces have been working against you in love. You may be stuck on one particular person, just feel like if they could just see things your way or if they could just get their shit together, um, everything would be perfect. It would be ideal. I'm kind of getting that. Yeah, the fool. So for others of you, this is a new union. I am drawn to this too. Hold on. The five of pentacles after some type of loss. Okay. It could be renewal. But it's like a new start, a new, I don't even want to say a new page. It feels like a first page. So if it's a series, <laughs> we're starting, you know, series two. 
Wow, Aries, Aquarius, energy. Aquarius, very strong with the Fool and the Star. The Eight of Swords. We feel like we don't know how to either express what it is that we're looking for in love, in our relationship. Some of you might feel like something's missing, like you're still searching. Okay. Let's look at this energy here. I'm sure for many of us, this is tied to a particular person, especially if you're involved, right? If you're in a relationship or have a dynamic with somebody, but... Mm, it's so much bigger with the star because it's like healing your heart. It's giving healing your heart chakra. Yeah, like really releasing leftover pain you've been carrying okay maybe from old relationships old wounds whatever that is here okay page of wands in the reverse ten of swords you have a lot to recover from there's a there is a big wound it feels like it's infected maybe some of you need to get some type of wound check out checked out i don't know um i'm not a doctor but yeah it's giving like this needs medical attention. And if you go and you get the treatment, you go see the doctor, you get the treatment you need, like it's going to be fine. You can make a complete recovery. But it's like you need to seek assistance here. That's a, just a side note for you. Um, like it's giving this needs surgery, you know? Real interesting there. I'm just gonna pull what's going on beneath the surface with this. Communicate. I'm telling you, and I saw that Ace of Swords in the reverse. It's like a lot of you are struggling to feel like you're able to express love or express how you feel about somebody, put yourself out there. I've been so hurt before. Maybe even articulate the pain you've gone through to somebody, okay? Let's look at what your challenge is this week, shall we? Very interesting. I'm kind of surprised how deeply love is taking over. I'm not gonna lie. It's really interesting. The way you love, why you love, who you love. There's a big reevaluation here. We need to break something down. Someone has been very stubborn, either you or the person you're dealing with. Your challenge being the Eight of Cups. Leaving, walking away. Leaving something alone for good, closing the door for good. So is that what this is? Opening your heart once again after a very painful ending. Like keeping your connection that love is still possible for you, you know? Like it's almost like a naiveness with this fool energy and this two of cups. Like allowing yourself to like, I'm getting like, you know, get drunk in love, you know, like Love is a game for fools. You know what I'm saying? Something like this. So yeah, your challenge is completely leaving the past alone. Also, for some of you, you're very avoidant. Okay, we run from love. Like this would be Purposely avoiding love, you know, not seeking it out, um, purposely being very closed off. Spirits, like, how can it find you if your door isn't open, if your window isn't open? You know what I'm saying? How can this frequency find you? It's like we've shut our door to love in general, not just one person. It's like when, when your past hurt you, you close the door on the frequency of love, not just that relationship or that situation, you know? Yeah, King of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Your energy is like very adamant here. I will not do this. I will not go towards this. Okay. 
why does this feel like I'm choosing me? I don't know. I'm getting this feeling of like feeling very sick and tired here. Can we just look at, obviously you're dealing with somebody, okay? Whether this is an energy, okay, of somebody from the past or someone is actively surrounding you. The F-bomb if I know, but let's take a look. Okay, let's see what I can get. Who's surrounding our collective energy this week? I'm kind of going rogue here. I'm breaking off of the spread I usually do, but it's completely necessary. Somebody was taking too long to commit to give you what you need. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Who went broke? Somebody went broke. Somebody's trying to get their money up. The person you're dealing with, are you dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a fire sign? Um, somebody is robotic. This is someone that does like the same thing every day. Maybe it's even a fixed sign. This could be a Taurus. For sure, it could be a Taurus. Um, this is an energy of somebody that just, they know what they know. They've mastered their craft. They do it their way. Um, for some of you, I don't know why this would be relevant. For some of you, this person could be in between jobs right now. Like, you might be very frustrated and feeling like this person isn't getting their shit together, okay? Um, it's like this person is constantly working and has nothing to show for it. That's what I feel. Like, it's giving... I don't know what their money situation is, and this isn't judgmental, but it's giving poor. It's giving poor mindset, lack mindset, you know? So I don't know if this person is working like a bunch of part-time jobs, temp jobs, something happened here. Show me this person's POV, please, of the situation with the collective. I, I'm so confused. Lost, I'm telling you, this person's hoping that you reach out, extend the olive branch, you give them another chance. This person could effortlessly, or excuse me, I was not going to say effortlessly, interesting. Um, I was going to say tire tirelessly um, be trying to like, like it's giving all talk, no action. Like I'll work, I'll change, but I don't actually, there's no change. There's no shift. I never get my shit together. It's like um, hamster wheel energy. The devil definitely just popped out. Capricorn energy. Okay. I'm telling you, there's heavy earth energy here. Somebody could put their work above this relationship. Somebody could be about their money. They value money. Their priorities are fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this is like a very, I'm, I don't know. I was getting like black mindset, but it could even be with black mindset. This person could have, you know, a zillion dollars, but still be spiritually poor, you know? Like money becomes their shield, their mask, if you will, their beard. I'm getting their beard, okay. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with a same-sex relationship. I just see that energy. So I just wanna acknowledge that for you. Um, hmm. This person genuinely doesn't know what to do. They feel like all they can do is hope. I'm telling you, it's that lack mindset. It's that maybe even victim mindset. It feels like this person's world is upside down. I don't really know why they're coming so strongly in here. Um, for those of you that watch my channel, like you know that I don't really go into other energies like this unless it's like a love reading. The moon. Hmm, I'm telling you, this person doesn't know what to do. They don't know what... It's just like they don't get it. Again, hamster wheel energy. Like... I want to use, like, the most, like, offensive phrase of, like, it's like there's 
I don't, some of you might like feel like this person's stuck on stupid, okay? But it feels like repeat, right? Like what's the definition of insanity? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, this person doesn't get it. You feel like you can't communicate to them. You, you can't talk to them. There's no getting through to them. Maybe some of them have an addiction problem and they lost like their life to that. Someone chose their career. Someone chose some type of vice, whether it was drugs, okay, money, maybe even like another person. I don't know about that, but you know what I mean? Priorities were messed up here. And there was a lack of communication. Can we pull on that? Okay, because this person, I'm telling you, they don't get it. You keep telling me I wasn't heard or I never got to say my piece. This person does, has no idea that you had something to even say. And it's just so interesting the way you're showing up collective because you're showing up like, I deserve better. I want something deeper. I want something real. I'm moving on from this. And I, I understand why you are like... <sighs> If this is the relationship you've been dealing with, for sure, what are they giving you? But toxicity, a, a weight, right? And we saw that, that you had to release that. You couldn't carry this anymore. And you had to make the choice to let it go. And that was your challenge, was walking away, was letting it go, was releasing it. But mm, what do we want to communicate about, please? King of Wands in the reverse, Eight of Cups. You told this person you were gonna leave. This is not a surprise. You're following through on like a promise. You may have given this person an ultimatum. You were let down, you were disappointed. Um, this could even be like a relationship where like somebody like gambled all your money away. It, f it feels like you're telling this person you made me not safe. I am not safe with you. It even feels like you've crushed me. Some of you were stolen from. Like, this is con artist energy. You know? Like, the grind, the hustle. Yes. Okay? Not that I wish this, but I could absolutely see that. Like, this energy. Again, you'll know if this is your story. But, like, hustle, player. I use people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the constant grind. I'm in the constant hustle. Mm -mm. So, I guess I'm just kind of surprised to see this in a collective energy. I'm really just kind of like, oh, where do we go from here? I kind of want to go back to the path, I guess, um, that I was originally going to take with this reading. I'm just perplexed. And it's just wild because for a lot of you, this was romantic. Of course, it doesn't have to be, but the Two of Cups is here. Something wouldn't give, something wouldn't change, so you... You changed, you gave. So what, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna just go broke here. So what's your goals here? What are you envisioning? Like you're leaving, what's your goals? What's your ideas? Okay, mm. the high priest system, the reverse, the eight of wands. So you feel like you should be doing more though. Pisces energy. I'm actually a little concerned for you because I want to tell you it feels like you're heading in the wrong direction. You're not listening to your truth or to your intuition. You're just trying to go. You're just trying. It feels like a run, like a leave, like a get out. Um, so it's very interesting. This energy is popping up given what we were just talking about with the new moon to being about recalibrating. I'm really getting things are not going to be what you think they're going to be. They're not going to turn out how you think they are. I have to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like you have goals right now, you guys. It feels like you're running. It feels like a get out. And granted, if you're in an emergency situation, do your thing. Okay? But I'm not trying to be on that um, vibration right now. We're trying to look at a situation where we have choice. Okay? where we feel calm, where we feel like we can make a choice um, mindfully. 
okay? And there's something about you're slipping into survival mode. You might be, because I'm telling you with this devil energy, it's just, it's pressure is what I want to say. I feel it like it's creeping. So you might feel a lot of pressure, like you've got to go, you have to get out of here. Let me see. You're hiding your goals. I'm telling you, this is, I just want to run. I just want to go. Some of you, you're like, I don't care. I just want to leave. I just want to get out. Okay, right now, Spirit is saying you're too disconnected to really be able to tap into this energy. So let it go. Again, we're talking we were talking about fix, right? The the fixed water, the ice, and not being able to move with flow. It's so important that in this moon energy, this four of cups, which is like my I don't give a fuck card, it's very mundane. It's like that cloud over your head, right? We were talking about this. Be with that, please. Don't set goals in this energy. Right now, it feels like you've been tied down by a hundred different weights and you are snipping yourself free. Okay, so your goal needs to be next step, which is, remember your challenge, walking away, moving forward, freeing yourself, elevating, rising up out of this vibration. You don't want to be in a vibration of loss, loneliness, <coughs> excuse me, loss, loneliness, not able to express your truth, setting goals for yourself. I don't know. I'm just, I'm sad to see this energy. I'm kind of surprised by it, but it's coming up for a reason. So let's honor it. Okay. It looks like the vibration I'm reading for is survival mode. Is you need to deal with this before anything else. It's root chakra. It's Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? It's shelter. It's your safety. You know what I'm saying? Like for some of you, this is an abusive relationship for sure. It's like they broke you down one last time. I deserve better. I'm just, I don't know. If I was doing a love reading, sure, I could see this energy coming up. I just don't know why it's taking over the weekly general read for the collective that tells me this is very loud and this is very urgent. So for, I don't care if it's one person, okay, or a billion of you that this is resonating for, it really is giving this, you need to leave now. This is your confirmation, okay? Again, I want to step away from this vibration, but I wouldn't feel like I was doing my job if I didn't acknowledge it. I'd love to zoom out of the layer of this being about love. I really would. <laughs> We're 23 minutes in though, and it's like, that is taking over. For others of you, sure, this could be a work environment, right? You're putting yourself out there. You deserve better. Maybe you've been taking advantage of um, low pay. I don't know. Getting screwed. A toxic boss. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting free labor. Oh, it just fell out. The Ace of Swords. Somebody's been taking advantage of you and you need to speak your truth. What's been happening behind closed doors? You're keeping something a secret, something to yourself. This is bigger than you. This is out of your hands. You've been keeping somebody secret. I'm telling you, somebody here struggles or is abusive or has like a, a uh, an emotional issue, an issue with addiction, I'm telling you, an anger issue. And it's like you've been covering them and no more. Like they crossed you or they took advantage of you and I don't know what that looks like, but this is what I'm seeing. If it's not love, maybe it's a family member or a friend, but it feels so specific. I try to be general and I'm just like, that's not what it feels like, but okay, maybe. Um, so let me know how it resonates for you guys. I'm wondering, maybe we do like a check-in reading after the eclipse. Okay, I'm curious if I'll see the justice card because I just heard somebody might get arrested. The truth is going to come out. That's what's recalibrating everything. The truth, that ace of swords. Somebody needs to speak up. See this for what it is. The Hierophant fell out. Taurus energy. 
It's giving, look at the light, right? It's the Pope of Tarot. It's like consciousness. What is your truth? What, again, what are your values? Knowing who you are, what feels right in your soul to do. Because I get the, you have to believe you're doing the right thing. You have to believe in your own truth. You have to feel your own truth before you speak it. Some of you are concerned people won't believe you. Let's look at what you don't see coming and then we'll get advice. Okay, this is a wild reading. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, the Emperor and Seven of Cups. Hmm. It's giving like, who am I? Identity, that Aries energy. Who am I? Who's my personal identity? How do I identify the devil in reverse? And what you don't see coming. Okay, Capricorn energy. So you're detaching, you're letting go, you're overcoming whatever is toxic here. Whatever, these weights that have held you down, you're elevating for sure. You're, you're, I just want to say escaping. So I don't know. You're leaving, you're letting go. The hermit in the reverse. Yeah, you're not being kept. Some of you were kept very small, stuck. Maybe you were in a contract, okay, that was silencing you. A judgment, like a wrongful judgment even. You were, I'm just getting you're free now. This is your freedom? Like, it really feels like you're coming out of, you know, like a bunker. Virgo energy here. Stop playing small. For those of you um, where you're getting ready to put your heart out there again, it would be allow yourself to be seen. Allow your light to be seen. Stop, um fucking with people from the past, fucking with, you know, mindsets from the past, old belief systems, who you used to be. Yeah, living in this pain and this personal torture is what I want to get. Let go of pain, let go of personal sabotage. Um, my nose just started to like itch, so forgive yourself too for like your judgment because it's all about the sermon, you know? But yeah, and what you don't see coming you're letting go of what hurts and you're no longer playing small. I'm also hearing exposure therapy, so that's interesting. What else, please? The Emperor, Knight of Wands. Somebody's coming towards you for sure. I mean, maybe this is you embracing your Aries energy, right? Especially if you have an Aries placement. This is a lot of passion. This is a lot of um, motivation, excitement, right? Aries is a cardinal sign. So it's like they're going to be the first ones to go do it. You know, it's like, oh my God, I'm charging right in here. It's fast. It's exciting. Um, and there's a lot of victory here. Like, I know this is for me. I'm running towards it, you know. It's like I'm running towards my utopia. But somebody might also, like, it's like, a, I'll meet you there meet you halfway okay so what's the advice for the collective this is i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know about this reading i think i might do a part two. Oh my gosh i should also have um for those of you that follow my shadow work series the high priestess is just about done so that will be recorded hopefully before the end of the week it should be up okay our advice Pisces energy with the hangman in the reverse, the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Be willing to do things differently. I almost want to tell you, because like you have judgment on the bottom. Like I want to tell you, be willing to close the tower moment. Be willing to walk away from it all. Like it is about complete detachment. What stays, stays. This is like what's left after destruction. You need to know your values. Like, I'm getting this realignment of values of what really matters to you, of what's important to you. When you think about the future, when you let go of the pain of the past and you start thinking about future you, where you're heading, what actually matters? That's what you need to, like, consume yourself with. You know what I'm saying? You know, temperance. You have to be sure. I'm getting commit to the bit. Surrender to spirit. Yeah, trust in the unknown, that moon energy here. It's also giving you're protected with that wolf energy, okay? Like a spirit wolf, somebody's spirit animal could be a wolf. Um, 
Yeah. You're watched over, you're looked after. This is also giving know your own darkness too. You're gonna meet your light, temperance. Spirit is heavy with you. You may not be able to see what's going on right now. It might be kind of foggy, cloudy in the night, but spirit knows you're very guided and guarded. You're being moved towards your destiny. Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Anything else? Five of cups. Yeah, just again, remember your goals were like, I just want to get out of here. I just want to move through this. Okay? Be present. Feel. Okay? Understand that you still have weights attached that you need to release is the best thing I can tell you right now. Okay? So I hope that helps. Jeez. If you need a personal, feel free to email me. Check out my website, so letsharrow.com. Check me out on TikTok. Also, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but for those of you that watch the whole reading, don't forget about my giveaway I'm doing for the Alice in Wonderland deck. All you have to do is leave a comment. Let me know how you felt me. Are you happy to be here? Is everything good? Just comment, okay? At the end of the month, we'll be picking one of our subscribers, our friends, okay, to have that sent out to them. All right. So love you guys so much. Like, subscribe, comment. Be good.